Welcome to the video for level 2 in our inequalities unit. Uh, in this video we're going to be going over uh, simple one-step inequalities, figuring out how to solve them, and also graph uh, our answers on a number line. Uh, so let's go right ahead into some examples from the worksheet. Let's say we're given the inequality negative 9, well, I can't really see that very well, negative 9 plus x is less than or equal to negative 2. Now, uh, as you may have noticed in the, in the first video, the previous one, this uh, solving an inequality is nearly identical to solving an equation. Our goal is to get the variable by itself. Uh, in this one, we've got our variable x here. And our equation is split where the inequality is. So this is our left side over here, and then this would be our right side. So our end game is to get x on its own, which means we need to get rid of this negative 9. And as you might expect, we do that by doing the opposite. So the opposite of a negative 9 would be to add 9. And that would essentially cancel that out. And of course, we do the same thing to the other side, just like an equation. Okay, and we'd be left with x and on the left side, and on the right side would be negative 2 plus 9, which would be 7. And instead of doing equals, we are going to be keeping this symbol here. So our answer would be x is less than or equal to 7. Now to uh, express this on a number line, I'm going to draw my number line. I'm going to put 7 right in, this, in the center here. And uh, so we'd have some other numbers like this. And I'm going to be drawing an open, or sorry, a closed circle because our solution includes the number 7. So a closed circle at the 7 with an arrow going to the left because x is less than, which means we're dealing with numbers less than 7. Okay. For the next video, we're going to be checking out something slightly different that often confuses students, and that is when the variable is on the right side of the inequality, because quite often we're used to being on the left side, just like it is there. Let's go down here. Okay, let's try question number four off the worksheet, and that is negative 13 is greater than or equal to n minus 4. All right, so we've got our left and right side here. So to get n by itself, I'm going to get rid of this minus 4 by adding 4 to both sides, canceling that out. And we're left with n over here. We've got this symbol. And on the left side, negative 13 plus 4 would be negative 9. Now, this is actually a really bad way to leave an answer. Uh, it, it's confusing to read, and it's a lot... It just makes a lot more sense, and it's a heck of a lot easier to graph if our variable is on the left side, not the right. So the trick here is to switch the place of both of our both our number and our variable, just like this. So I'm going to move n to this side and negative 9 to this side. Now what happens, though, when you do this is the inequality switches directions. Before, it was uh, greater than or equal to. So now it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be less than or equal to, just like that. And quick sidebar, just to explain why that's the case. Let me give you a quick example. Let's say we have the inequality that 2 is less than 6. Obviously, that makes sense. 2 is a smaller number than 6. Now, if we were to switch the places of these two numbers, 6 here, 2 here, and if we kept the symbol the same, look what happens. Now it's saying 6 is less than 2 which obviously is wrong. So in what you should do, if you're going to reverse the 6 and the 2, uh, you should also reverse the direction of the inequality, which means it would switch to this, which keeps the statement true. 2 is less than 6, and 6 is greater than 2. So hopefully that example kind of gives you an understanding of why you need to switch the direction of that inequality symbol. Anyway, now that we have our inequality, we can graph it. So as usual, I'm going to 
put uh, my number, my negative 9, smack dab in the middle, add a couple other numbers, negative 10 would be over here. Okay, and I'm going to be drawing my dot at negative 9, and since it's less than or equal to, I'm going to be drawing a solid dot with the arrow going to the left because it's less than. Just like that. Alright, let's just try one more example and then I think we'll call it a wrap. Let's go down to the sandy beach here. Okay, how about <clears throat> question 12, which says negative 10 is greater than n over 5. So, just like an equation, we need to get rid of this divided by 5 here to get n by itself. And the opposite of that would be to multiply by 5. So I'm going to times this by 5, and I'll do the same thing over here. Which will cancel those out, and we'll be left with n. We've got a greater than symbol. And negative 10 times 5 would be negative 50. So once again, we have this weird problem where the variable is on the right side of the inequality. So I'm going to switch these guys around and also reverse the direction of that inequality. Okay, so n will now be on the left side, negative 50 is over here, and then instead of it being a greater than symbol, it's going to be less than. So there's our inequality. Now that we have that, we can graph it on a number line pretty quickly. I'll put my negative 50 in the center. Okay, and I will be drawing my dot at the negative 50. And since it is less than uh, and not equal to, it's going to be a, an open circle or a hollow circle. And I'm going to be drawing my arrow to the left because it's less than negative 50. All right, that is it for this lesson. Don't forget, in order to challenge level 2, you do need to complete at least half of the questions from the worksheet and show me. So that would be at least uh, 10 of the questions. All right, good luck.